lot of people ask what's easily damaged on the bike and about durability, if it's rusting or not. Um, what's easily damaged on the bike, I think there are four main uh, parts. The front fork guards, uh, especially the bottom mounting points. The bash plate, which you get with the bike, not this heavy duty one. The paint job on the casings of the engine, uh, I would mention. And then the exhaust. Uh, those are the four things which get battered quite a lot and I basically damage all of those. Um, in terms of durability, people ask if it's rusting because the spokes are not stainless steel as well as the tank. I don't know about the tank, uh, but we will look into the spokes later on. So what's the problem with the front four guards? The problem is that you have this uh, mounting point in here and there's a steel bolt goes in, goes in there and there's another steel bolt in here. Now I have already managed to snap this bolt off as well as the part of the, uh, of the guard and I don't even recall that I would have a crash which would do that. So these are very very fragile and if I would have a steel bolts which are uh, there by default, um, I may have actually snapped this mounting point of the fork. Uh, what I have here is the Rally Raid nylon bolts, so they are designed to snap and then you can just take them off and replace. Um, yeah, but that, that actually got damaged very, very, very quickly. Bash blade. I have already managed to bend this heavy duty Yamaha bash blade here. There's a big, big, big bend uh, and in here. Now I bent this bash blade to the point where I was not able to use the rear brake. Um, so if you would actually have a normal bash blade which comes with the bike, that would be totally wrecked by now. Okay, this one is probably the biggest one. So this brushed off part of the swing arm is what's happening when the uh, impact bends the uh, exhaust towards the swing arm and then it just rubs off. Um, I already done this in Sardinia. Uh, in Yamaha they repainted it. So this was completely black. Now it's rubbing again. And uh, the only thing you can probably do about it is just wedge the a uh, piece of wood and bend it back but yeah the mounting point for the exhaust is very 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 soft and it gets pushed to the swing arm quite a lot and obviously it rubs the exhaust on this side as well so um, I haven't checked that one yet and then we have the paint on the engine covers I mean this is already gone at 10,000 kilometers that's where the uh, boot rubs off uh, on the case uh, I mean that could last a little bit longer, I guess. Okay, in terms of rust, yes, uh, there is a corrosion on the spokes. As a lot of people said, it's not stainless steel spokes, so there's a corrosion on there. Um, there is also corrosion on other bits like uh, bolts and all that. And obviously, if you scratch the exhaust, it starts corroding as well. Um, but yeah, it's kind of expected. Uh, Honda, did, Honda did that as well, so yeah. Um, and that's about it, really.